the devil are you? Well, here I am on our new MGHS. It's a nice black. It's a mid-range range, range, uh, mid range excite trim. It's got the manual gearbox because I didn't want to wait six months to what could be a year now because of the coronavirus for the automatic version. And this one was already in the in the showroom in my favourite colour black. Yes, you see me driving lots of white cars. That's for taxiing purposes. My favourite colour has always been black. And uh, so here we are in it. And I should really have this thing on. Let's see if I can put it on with my glasses. Yeah, because it's pandemic time and I'm not really ready to do this video yet. It's just I've got a feeling that in the next few days to a month we're going to be in lockdown and I'm not going to be able to go out and do things like this. But yeah, I should really be like this with my, with my mask on. And, yeah. oh, there's a cyclist. Oh, I'm breathing these germs. I might come through my air vents. Just a cyclist. So yeah, I should really be filming it like this. Do I look like an idiot? <laughs> and the thing that gets me about this, I'm taking it off because I don't need it on right now. <laughs> I've caught my glasses. Did <laughs> a crash. Um, get off me bloody glasses. There. Yeah. Hey, I'll tell you something. This going on with the review and getting rid of the coronavirus is the, is the issue right now in this video. If you want to a car that feels like it's like a big inside it's, it's soft touch materials everywhere it feels like it's like a, a Dowdy or a Mercedes or something but it's made you know it's got Chinese made prices you want to get one of these I mean I'm going to, to put in some shots here of the, of the interior everything is soft touch materials even I mean I've seen some cheaper soft cars that done a bit of soft touch materials but the soft touch materials don't go all the way to the top of the dash. This one goes right away up. The soft touch materials are right away up to the actual windscreen. And in, you know, the here and um, now one of the things you've got, you've got this lovely, you've got like a seat thing that goes backwards and forwards, you know, an armrest, but it goes backwards and forwards, it opens up. It's actually a cooler, so you can put yogurts and drinks and things in there. Um, you've got electronic palm brake, You've got collision damage warning. If you've got the automatic versions, you've got adaptive cruise control um, and traffic assist. Um, if you've got the base version, you might have to do it without the, the reversing camera, which this is the mid-range version. It's got the reversing camera. You might have to, if you buy the base version, it starts at 17999 on the road, I think the base version. Um, this is the exciting exclusive. I keep forgetting the base version's name. But, um, you get smaller wheels and different alloys and but you still get forks lever interior and and uh, my mother found these this, this mid-range seat more comfortable for her than the top spec exclusive which is proper leather and um it has electric they have the exclusive one's got like electric seats if it's automatic it's got the adapt, yeah, adaptive cruise control it's got mood lighting inside it's got a full length panoramic sky roof thing um it has if you've got the automatic version, it's got electronically closing tailgate. Um, the other thing it's got, is if you get the automatic, is something called Super Sport. Big red button on the steering wheel down here. Which means you press it and it makes it go, go sporty, more sporty. But the thing about this is, I'm in second. And I can leave it in second all the way to 6,000 revs and nearly 60 mile an hour. So, you know, you can have fun in this, and look, it's a big machine, it's a big wally, but, you know, when you think about it, you're getting all this for this amount of money. You're getting an awful lot of car, and an awful lot of, uh, that feels like it's a lot more expensive. I mean, inside, I mean, it, this feels like I'm in an Audi Q4, an Audi Q8, with all this soft touch material everywhere. And the other thing you're getting, there's a space. Um, in the back there, you have like a, a, a lower shelf and underneath it you lift it up there's all this room where there's meant to be a spare tire but you got the, what they've done is they've put in an extra tray and then under that they've got the big space where the tire is because this thing 
it is meant to be like a, a, a SUV and I believe there are four wheel drive versions coming out or available in China already but this is just two wheel um, and it's got big chunky tyres <laughs> there's a big gap in the boot where the big chunky tyres meant to be underneath the uh, blow up blow up lip blow up thing that you lift up and there's a lot of sports storage space in there I have been able to fit mother's buggy in no problem it does because of the um, the, the, the actual cargo areas after the uh, where the spare tyres meant to be is quite high it does fill a lot of the rear view mirror up but I don't really have to do it I don't have to take the seat off or anything I, I, I just fold down the front handlebars lift it up and in it goes no problem and that's been a problem getting that into quite a lot of vehicles obviously it fitted into the, 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 the Dacia Logan quite well because I had a massive boot but the problem with the Dacia Logan was it had a massive boot but not really much room in the back this has got a quite good boot and loads of room in the back I mean I can sit in the back of this thing stretch out and the other thing it's got in the back is seats that you know it's got actually you can actually put the seats back in that in the back so you can stretch out a bit more if you've got nothing in the boot I mean at the back it, it looks like an Audi at the back with twin exhausts um, but I think this has got a thing over most out the, the Q8 or the Q4 whatever I'm comparing it to is it's not it's not a fake second uh, exhaust it's the proper active exhaust the both of them <laughs> the both of them work uh, and uh, I'm gonna try and set the uh, tripod up when I park up somewhere here and just rasp it a bit just so you can hear the uh, the sound of the exhaust because it does feel quite sporty in here when you make it go a bit let's give this a go Logan was coming up needing a lot of servicing, it needed its timing belt changed, it needed... Oh, I've got a telephone call. Do excuse me. Hello? 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 Uh, hi, it's Carl calling from TLD Wealth Management. Just a quick call regarding the life insurance. I'm not, I'm not uh, eligible for any life insurance I've tried because I've got congenital heart defect. And I'm needing operations. Right, not so, to worry then. No problem. Bye bye. Okay. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye bye. <clears throat> anyway, back to the car review. <laughs> it's very hard not to talk about that thing right now. <coughs> Focus on car. I think I'm going to have to put. It, you, let's go over the, the, the media system. You've got everything you need in here. You've got sat nav. 
got your entertainment. There's even touch screen on the heating controls. It thinks it's half a Tesla, this thing. He thinks it's because everything's on so much in it that you do control from here. So let's try to, let's try to take a leaf out of Tesla's book there, I think. So um, here's a parking spot. Can I pull over here? I think I can. I think I'll get the um, normal camcorder out. Mm. Mm. And uh, where did I put it? Put it back in here? Yeah. And go over the media system here. While I'm at it, I'll just. It is a bit dusty in here now. But here's your soft touch materials I was told to tell you about. Here's soft touch. This is soft touch. It's soft touch all the way down here. This is this is. Look at the stitching. We've got like all this red leather stitching. And it's not just there. It's along here and here. This is soft touch here. The, these are quality feel to them, like they're an Audi. This is all soft touch materials here around the start button. Doesn't actually get into harder plastic to about here. The steering wheels, the little other covered. There you got some top. Even that, I mean, it's harder plastic, but it feels better quality. Doesn't feel like the cheap stuff. This is soft touch down here. Here, you got these buttons. They've got a quality feel to them. That's a home button. Then you've got the navigation system. You got your this is this is the mid trim one, so it doesn't have the dual climate control. But if it was the exclusive, it would have dual climate control, heated seats. These buttons don't work. But then on the mid trim one, it's just this side that works. So you turn the heater up like this, so like it's a it's a freaking Tesla, doesn't it? This side just doesn't work. It goes up and down, but nothing happens. It's not dual. My mother played around with this, and I kept telling her mother, you can't control it from that side. It's not dual, dual climate. It's a cheaper version. Just get the dust off there. These all light up at night. And this is the centre console. I was telling you, it goes like that. And in here, it's all like the cooling thing. Um, yeah, soft touch around here. Mother's got a cushion on the seat. Here's your glove box. It's, it's, even that, I mean, that is not as hard to It's hard plastic, but it's not as cheap. It feels a bit better than the the, the Logan's one, because the Logan's one felt like this down here. Oh, this is a new thatcher. It's like a nice little honey pouch thing, thing here. Shut up. Nice, like, where you can put all your spare change and things. Um, I'm just going to pull the cam, the um, dash cam out again, so you can see this. And you've got your USB ports down here and everything. There's your 12 volt. Just look at that. It's got a quality feel to it and all. Um, you've got hills, hill descent control. Um, you have. I don't know what that is, but I know that one's Eco Drive, which turns the stop-start off. That one looks like the stop-start button on the um, Logan. And I've got actually cruise control in the proper place down here. <laughs> Not a big stupid button like on down here on the Dutch here. Um, middle air vents. Lovely big rear view mirror. Up here I would have the uh, oh look SOS button for the for the phone. Um, not sure about what these all do, that's just lights. Like on that side, that's like door light. Um, at, at night you've got these wonderful like uh, illuminated like on the Mini, I mean the Mini is quite, quite a posh car for a little car but it's had like a projected Mini on the floor but this thing, you get it for such slow money and it's got like things like projected um, lights in the, in the handlebars of the doors so you can see where you're going at night the lights stay on, you know, walk your home lights I think the option's in here somewhere, let's have a look mm -hmm. let's have a look, set up, so you got, so you got your settings here System beats, beeps, blah blah blah. Right, so you got the sound, what's this sound stage? Oh, look, you can do, you can maybe, really, you know, do the balance and everything on there. Right, that's audio. What else? Let's go back into, so we press the car button down here. That one looks like a car. So comfort and good speed assist mode, off, manual. I don't know what this is. There's a you got lane assist on. That annoys me because it keeps beeping because it's got quite big and the, the roads in Northumberland are quite narrow and you've got to go over the white line quite a lot. So we're driving around these little country roads where this thing is. Beep beep all the time. Departure assistant. Lane keeping. Audible alert. 
might turn that off. Ah, right, I'm going to turn that off. Alert sensitivity, vibration alert on, so I'll get that steamer wheel will go. Comfort and convenience, so ambient lighting, if I had the top range one, would have the ambient lighting mode. Follow me home, on, find my car, lights and home. So I've done that, you get the, you get the, this, the key fob, yeah, and when the car's locked you just press that, it goes beep 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 in the whole car, I have to put, like, put a clip in of us doing that, if I remember to do it, I can do that at home, maybe it's with my mask on at night, so I don't have to get that done now, driving maintenance, stability control on, so yeah, that's this thing, that's hill descent actually, no, it's this stability control. Factory settings, I don't want to read. So there's your driver assist. Let's go down, yeah. What's this button do? Go back home. That button. So we'll go this one. Ah, that just takes you the heat that controls. I've been looking for that one. And then I can go there and go home. Okay. You got your volume controls there. This is the front, rear and front demist um, window demister. Yeah, so you can your front windscreen, it thinks it's like a Ford, you know, or other cars you can do that now. Now you got your lovely cup holders down here, it's, it's full of my junk now. Door pockets, let's look at the door pockets, shall we? <laughs> so, make sure I've got my keys on me, yeah. You know, you got these little door pockets here. You can zoom back a bit. I just want to zoom in. All round electric windows. I think the lower trim one has manual rear windows, I'm not sure. Electric windows. Um, this is the thing, child locks, you don't have to worry about a child lock button in the back because this thing will lock the door so you can't get out. So the kid you got the kids in the back, you press that button down there, that's lit. You just know the kids aren't gonna be up the door. And test that I'll do it now. Oh, he cannot. Oh, he said. <laughs> Didn't work. Ah. Why did someone say they couldn't get out here? Yeah. Try that again. Hmm. Right. Okay, let's try that again. Works in the second turn. That must prove me a liar. Right, time to go and look at the booting things. <coughs> right, bing bing. So back seats first. Let's see if the child lock being on there. Alright, you know, there ain't no child lock, but oh, we've got the electric rear windows. windows. We'll pop it down here. Nice big door things. And let me just get rid of this. And you can see, let me get rid of the mother of that's junk that. You got the, the materials in the back. This is all soft touch. Here comes someone. So yeah, this is all soft touch materials. Soft touch materials here, red stitching. Soft touch materials here. It's only when you get it gets a bit plastic here, and you have got these lovely MG cells on all the things. Just oozes of a car that costs twice as much. Anyway, the, the, you, you don't have a ski. You can't put your skis through, but you got this thing in the back here, and you got a button there. You can store. It's not too deep that, but you can store a few things in there. Here comes another car. Everyone always wants to come when you're filming. Do it from this side, that'll be easier. Um, so, yeah, you got your cup holders in there. Your little niece kept doing this. My my nephew when I had them in the back. Of course, there was a war on. So, yeah, soft touch materials around here. This is your back pockets without the bags. You can be bags for all the, uh, like, panic shopping dying, as some people would call it. It's not panic shopping if you have to go into isolation. And, yeah, red stitching there. Let's take a look at the boot. It's a lot dirtier than I wanted it to be for this video, but it's emergency filming. 
so we have to do it. Right, this would be an automatic tailgate gate if it, was no, if it was an automatic exclusive. So there's mother's stroller in there that fits in fine. Found a place for me fire extinguisher from the taxi. You lift this up. So you got this where you can put things. I did put a few things in there, but it started annoying me because I started hearing them rattling around in the back. But this comes out. I know they have stuffed up things like me tire inflator. That's where the spare tire should be. Mm -hmm. So you got lots of room. And yeah, um, portability scooter fits in there fine. I think I'll just clip in a shot of it already in there. So as I say, you can see how high up that is. So when it's in there, it's up here. So it blocks a bit of the rear view, and, but yeah, it fits in. Right, I think we'll put this thing on a tripod. Well, there's the dash cam I put in. It's a rear camera for it. Let's fit it through all the trim along there to the front. Yes, we got to do the obligatory uh, look at the engine bay. You can see me with it. So, obligatory look at the 1.5 turbo petrol engine. 169 brake horsepower, apparently. Uh, how do you open this again? Oh, it's a lever. Pull it down here, if I remember right. Wasn't it a lever? I remember. There's a lever. There it is. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's the lever there. Eh? It's difficult to find. You got used to it. Right. Oh, there it is. <laughs> PGI. Hey. 1.5 engine. Mm. Mm, you put your water in there. Mm. It's an engine. Oh, it's got gas strut things, so you don't have to worry about sticky things up. Love a nice big MG badge and this grill. Here's your sensor that would be used for adaptive cruise control and uh, traffic assist if you had the automatic. So there we have it. There's a B wing, like a B sting, whatever aerial. So, what I think I'll do now is attach the cockhead cam and uh, do some cockhead driving shots for you. So let's do some cockhead cam driving. We'll turn that off. Right, I hope this is seeing enough out the front. Put the navigation on, shall we? So. So it's not really, what else have I got to say about the car? I've put, I'll put in a clip of the, if I haven't done it already, I'll put in a clip of the mobility scooter in the back there. So you can see it, but uh, we all know it fits now. I don't need to go through the demonstration of trying to fit it like I've done in some videos. But uh, it's like a gear. I need to be careful because this is a bumpy road. I can launch myself into what that, that brick wall, not that brick fence. Okay, so here we are doing a bit of cockade cam driving just to finish the video off. So. Yep, this is our new NGHS. I'm going to have this for three years if I, if I live if I live through the pandemic. <sighs> With my heart conditioned and my mother being our lady. If I suddenly stop doing videos, maybe that's why. You just don't know. So, um, oh, that's the other thing. Um, if you're a YouTuber and you stop using your account, you'll be, look at this idiot on this freaking road. Where am I meant to go, like? Where am I meant to go? You're going to clip me car with your truck. Brand new car getting clipped by your stupid truck. Shouldn't be sending them down here if they're too wide for the road. Anyway. Just got the bloody thing. Tell you what, this, I, sometimes I feel as though this universe is out to get me. So, yeah, I'll do more reviews of this later on and everything, but as you can see, we're all, we're all quite happy about it. The only thing we're not 
oh that's one thing I forgot to mention I've probably already mentioned in a couple of the videos running up to this is we could have had the MG ZS EV but it wasn't as easy for mother to get into the seats weren't as comfortable and it was a grand additional payment on the motability and it was this basically I can't these cars aren't for YouTube they're for me mother so that comes first I would love to have gotten the EV if it was priority was YouTube and I made lots of videos about EVs and things but uh, I can't keep the channel just about cars I've got other tech things I'm trying to do now as well so there you have it there's nothing really much else to say this is our lovely new MG HS would highly recommend one you get a lot of car for the money there you go it's just a shame it's covered 19 you have to wait if you want one now you might have to wait six months if, if it's not one that's already been delivered to the country anyway so i'll say bye bye to you in the in the rear view mirror for now because the other cameras run out of power so remember to like and subscribe and all that mohali press bell button so you get notifications i need that 1000 subs mm -hmm. okay thanks again for watching see you next time bye